Okay, in the last tutorial I showed you how to make a very basic navigation with Bootstrap and in this one I'm going to show you how to add some extra features uh, like icons to your navigation and then work with your grid a little bit to build some layouts. So um, there is a really great website called fontawesome.com and it provides with all kind provides you with all kinds of new icons that we see in a lot of pretty modern websites today. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. And it um, used to be that you had to download all the files and integrate them into your CSS, and they make it pretty simple to where you don't really have to do that anymore. So if you just click on the Get Started page of Font Awesome, and then click on the Web Fonts with CSS option, uh, all you have to do is take this line of code copy it and then paste it below the style sheet of your bootstrap and it's always good to add some comments and so I'm going to go ahead and add my a comment to this and call this font awesome CSS just so later on I'll always know that that's what this particular line is for um, once you do that you can go back to the Font Awesome page and go find an icon that you might like and say I wanted to add a little home button next to my the word home here. I can go search for the word home and find an icon. Now uh, if you pay for um, Font Awesome you get access to these grayed out ones as well. You see a pro here. A pro license is required but the free version comes with all these ones that are dark gray and those are good enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this home button. It's going to provide you with all kinds of different versions of it and um, what you need is this code I class FAS FA home. Okay and I'm just going to go ahead and copy it just like we did with the bootstrap content and I'm going to go back into my code and I want to put it as an item in my navigation here next to home. Okay, so if I wanted to appear here next to the word home or in place of the word home, I could go back into my code, find the word home right here, and paste it right before the H. Okay, and I'm also going to add a little space, just a space bar. So now I've got my code I class FAS FA home and it closes right away, the icon tag, and then I've got the word home. I'm going to go ahead and save it, refresh it, and there it is. A little house pops up. How nice. Okay, you can add as many of those as you want to, um, but what I would like to do is actually add some code up here in the top, or I'm sorry, a, a, a navigation over here on the right to add some social media icons. So I'm going to go back to the Bootstrap website and down where it had the navigation in the uh, documentation components and then click on nav bar, that's where we have the nav bar, let's click on navs and you can add different components to your navigation so these are just very basic navigations and um, I'm going to want to create a right navigation okay so I'm going to go ahead and grab this code from the UL all the way down and go ahead and copy it or just press the copy button and I want to paste that code down here after my UL closes. Okay, so I'm still inside the div of my navigation, but this UL is the UL for my left navigation, my main navigation, and the one that I'm pasting in now is going to be for my right navigation. I'm going to select all this and tab it over just to keep kind of track of where my uh, navigation items are. And you'll see that Basically, it's the same thing as the navigation up here, except it's saying justify content M, and so that means it's going to be going to the right. Now here, um, I've got some options, this item open and close, this item open and close, just like I had the other one. And I'm just going to do Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for now, and so I'm going to go ahead and delete this last one. Plus, it also had the disabled option, and I really don't want to disable any of my icons for anybody, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. So let's say the first link is going to be to Facebook. Well, let's go to Font Awesome and go back to Icons and search for Facebook. And I'm going to grab that code, just copy it. And I will paste it here. Instead of the word active, I'm going to place, paste the code for Facebook. 
And for my link, I want to probably link to http colon slash slash facebook.com and probably a unique URL instead of just the general one to Facebook. You want to put your specific Facebook page. And I'm also going to want to do a target equals underscore blank. What that's going to do is it's going to open that social media site in a new window. Let's go back to my wakeboarding page, refresh it, and you can see, good, Facebook pops up. And we can change the color here in a second, but for now, it works. Awesome. Next, I'm going to go to get my Instagram. Okay, go back to icons, or let's go to Twitter. Let's grab that code, copy it, and paste it here. And I don't need to worry about that right now, but you would type in HTTP, whoops, HTTP. <laughs> you know, you'd have a, a link to Twitter here. Okay, instead of Facebook, and then here, so Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I do know that the font awesome code for Instagram, instead of going back to the site, is just FAB Instagram square. Well, it's not actually square, it's just Instagram. Okay, and I'll go back here, and that should provide you with social media icons. Now, they're a little bit small, and there are some options within Font Awesome that allows you to not just type in the class of FAB Font Awesome Facebook Square, but you can also add, as another class, FA-2X. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your Font Awesome two times larger. Refresh, and now you can see it's larger. You can do a, th a 4x, a 3x, 4x, or anything else that you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one too, fa-2x, and I'll do that to this one, fa-2x. It makes it a little bit larger. You can make them larger, smaller, or however large you want them to be. And so, great, that works. And you can add these font awesome codes anywhere you want to. Uh, now, one issue is that they're blue on blue, which doesn't look great. And so I can change that um, if I create a custom style sheet. Okay, and That's not something we have done yet. We've dealt with the bootstrap style sheet, and we have dealt with the font awesome style sheet. But we can create our own customized style sheet that allows us to change colors without having to access bootstrap's files directly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a file new. And just to make sure it's working, I'm going to do a P tag color red, just to make sure that it's working. Okay, and I'm going to save it in my CSS folder, and I'm going to save it as custom.css. Okay, so it's amongst all of my Bootstrap CSS files. Let's go ahead and save that. And now I need to actually code that in as well as another. CSS file. And instead of font awesome CSS, this is going to be custom CSS. And I'm just going to basically code it here link href equals CSS slash custom.css. And the reason I'm writing the CSS here is because it has to go inside the CSS folder to find this thing. Okay. And then I'll just do a rel equals style sheet and go ahead and close that. Great. So now what's going to happen is it's going to read this file. It's going to go into the CSS folder and grab this custom CSS code. And now my paragraph should be read. Now if I had a paragraph, um, I would see it, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to go down here just to testing, just to see if it works. Save it, refresh, and it's read. Awesome. Okay, so I probably don't want to have this text here, and I probably don't want my text to be read anyway, but the reason that I created this style sheet in the first place was to show you that you can create some icons that will be white instead of blue. Okay, so instead of these blue colors, we can actually make them white. And so when we go back into our custom.css, we can delete our paragraph red, and we can add some code, that will make our navigation link eyes, which are our icon tags, be white. Okay, and if you do a nav link I, it will now be white. And if I go here and save it, 
and refresh it, now they're all white. And that shows up a lot better than the other one. Okay, so there's a lot you can do with a custom CSS, and we'll get to more options here in a minute once we start dealing with our layouts and grids, and, um, and even adding a slideshow carousel. So we will have much more to come in further tutorials.